Hello friends, how are you today? I hope you're doing well and today's video is entirely about a facial toner. My review and first impressions on the faces Hydra facial toner which is something I'm going to try out for the first time in front of you and I just thought before moving on to a review session, I'll just quickly introduce what is a facial toner and I'll just uh, help people to know because I know uh, even I uh, when started using this thing was new to the product and I actually was not knowing all the advantages of it and so you know I just uh, always try to skip uh, using a toner so I just thought of giving a quick advantage kind of a review or quick advantage kind of thing on the facial toners and then I'll just move on to the review session. So uh, yes, firstly the facial donor is nothing but a cleanser which removes the dirt from your face, which removes the oil from your face, which helps to shrink the pores which are open on your face maybe after a facial wash or maybe after using uh, creams and concealers and makeup stuff. It, it hydrates your skin, it maintains your pH balance of your skin. Basically, it maintains our skin into a natural mode. We try using different products on your skin. There is really a necessity of your skin coming back to a normal position, which is naturally given to us. Uh, the advantages if you can list down is it helps to remove dirt, it helps to lessen the oil, oiliness on your skin, then it helps to shrink your open pores, that is, it helps to lessen down your open pores then it helps to refresh your skin, it helps to uh, regain your pH balance on your skin, it acts kind of a layer of protection on your skin and the most important thing which I should never miss is it basically helps to get rid of acne and pimples because obviously when you're not going to have an oily skin, when you're not going to have a dirty skin, when you are not going to have the open pores, there is uh, a little chance of getting acne and pimples so basically this is going to reduce your chance of getting acne and pimples and kind of any reactions or rashes on your face the other most important thing is a facial toner acts as a humectant on your skin if you are aware about the humectant thing or uh, if i can get a similar word to that is it basically acts as a locker which locks the moisture onto your skin I mean the natural moisture which is present on your skin it basically helps to lock that into your skin and help your skin not to become dry and stuff and just regain the original quality of your skin uh, the other aspect which I would really uh, love to um, share is uh, don't wash your face after using a toner keep the toner as it is on your face and if you feel your face is kind of uh, getting little dry or something try using a moisturizer onto that but don't wash off the toner on your face make sure you are not putting your toner to get into your eyes because toner is not good for your eyes and take care while applying the toner that you are not in contact with your eyes also uh, one more important thing i would like to mention is don't keep the bottle of your toner open because toner is ultimately going to evaporate like the spirit or like the nail paint removal does so uh, you know always you should uh, cover up the bottle of your toner and don't make it remain open the other thing which i needed to cover is how you need to use the toner uh, basically what i do is i wash off my face and then i use toner with the cotton uh, entirely on my face I keep it as it is and I go off to sleep because this is a kind of my night skincare routine so yes you have a huge list of companies or the brands who sell the uh, facial toners but then you know uh, the main important thing while selecting a toner is take care of your skin type so make sure what is your skin type say if you have an oily skin there are facial toners which are available for oily skin there are facial toners if you have a dry skin uh, the toners which have a moisture content into it so it regains the moisture into your skin if you have a combination skin you can again go from oily to uh, dry or from dry to oily kind of combination you have also there are toners for all skin types 
which are safe to use because you know even if you have dry skin it can gain moisture if you have an oily skin it would help remove the oil so yes you can basically go with any of these type of toners and you have different different brands selling it and you have different different options to get it so you can choose any of them and go with that now, towards moving my review session uh, firstly i would love to tell you that forgive me for my bare feet i need to do this on my bare feet because i've just washed off my face with a cleanser and i need to apply this toner on my face so uh, yes uh, the face toner which i got actually looks like this it has a blue and white kind of a combination packing on it basically a hydro toner uh, it says it tones and refines smooth skin and hydrates and refreshes also i'll just read out the things mentioned on it um, so uh, it makes your skin feel refreshed clean and soft uh, it is delicate on your skin it is rich in antioxidants it restores the ph balance and is for all skin types and it says this gentle and soothing toner hydrates the skin keeping it perfectly clean and soft it tones the skin and refines pores for a clearer complexion its benefits are it leaves it leaves the skin smooth supple and hydrated for each use i have already opened the seal and so you can now find that so the bottle basically looks like this uh the packaging of it is quite good and quite decent you know it's not that colorful but it still has a i mean it has maintained the blue and white combination it's an 100 ml uh, bottle and it costed me for around 399 rupees so basically it has this cap kind of a thing to open and the bottle looks like this with a pump on it the packaging is uh, quite nice i like that and the price for this is i thought it's a light costlier but you know uh, when you try choosing uh, toners of good brands you have to slightly move on to the pricing range because uh, say for example uh, if you get a himalaya toner it is very cheaper as compared to these kind of uh, branded products so you know uh, you can use any of the toner initially and then you can move on ahead with your choice and with your preferences with the other brands so even i was using a himalaya toner for many days and later on i switched to different different companies and you know this happens so yes basically i have got this bottle i have got this cotton and i'll just try using it i don't know how it feels my skin basically has nothing on it it's a clear skin I'll just try and pump this. If you can see, it has got much pressure. Uh, would uh, suggest you that use a toner and daily on your face as well as your neck part. As I say, for sunscreen, even moisturizing, cleansing, and everything is very important for your neck as well. So yes. So I'll just start. putting on my toner toner has it own um, effects on your skin many toners give a cooling effect a minty kind of a effect and many toners give you an itching kind of a effect and maybe some toners give you no effect just a cool effect for few a uh, few seconds and nothing beyond that so i am obviously avoiding my eyes just doing that under my eyes making sure i'm not letting it go into my eyes. just gently 
you need to place this product entirely on your skin so not forgetting my neck I never do that I don't know but I always want to adjust my neck color and my neck skin with my facial skin I done with this now what it feels is well, firstly when I started applying it it seems to be giving me a cooler effect but later on now I am feeling a kind of an itchy effect on my skin but not that much itchy that you know uh, I'll just try to scratch my face off but you know a light of itchy uh, itchy effect in my face is kind of heating off with that itchy effect and now I'll just let it off to dry so that I can review something once this is dried off and settled down on my face. So yes, after waiting for about 5 to 7 minutes, my facial toner is completely into my skin. And what I feel is uh, kind of a sticky thing. I mean it's not that kind of a dry toner and it's not making my skin dry for sure and let me tell you uh, it has made my skin uh, more clean it has made my skin uh, oil free kind of thing as of now and it has removed the dirt from my skin and it has kind of a given a uh, kind of a glow on my skin I guess it has made my skin look shinier because I myself I am feeling refreshed and basically this toner has a bit of a sweet fragrance to it uh, so you know I am feeling a bit of refreshed using this toner and I am completely happy by using this because it has given me a good feel and it's not making my skin dry and the itchy thing was for a few seconds and not more than that and obviously it is going work on my pH balance and maybe the reactions out of that are making my skin a bit of itchy but uh, not for more time so yes this is going to maintain my pH balance and regain my skin structure so I'm completely happy with the product uh, slightly what I feel is uh, packaging is also okay but the price of this product is slightly more but then uh, that's okay because I'm going to I'm moving out for a good brand so I would surely invest into this and the fragrance of it is also good uh, just one thing is I don't know uh, what effect it would give me for a prolonged use uh, yes this was the complete review session on the facial toner I just tried listing of things which I feel was important regarding the facial toners and stuff so yes i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you liked uh, the review session which i did i hope you like the information which i provided to you so uh, make sure to subscribe my channel to like the video and share the video with your friends and family so till then bye bye